Hi folks, how are you all doing today? Today it's time for us to learn how to create another teachable machine model. I hope you all remember about teachable machine uh, tool which is created by Google, right? And we have created a few models in our, um, in our playlist already, okay? If you've not been uh, checking out that series yet, please do go back to my channel and start watching okay so we can create uh, multiple types of model and teach models and teachable machine and today especially or specifically we're creating a hand gesture recognition model right so let's quickly get started uh, without any delay right so i'm just clicking on get started so and this is going to be a image project so i'm just clicking on standard image model so we already know the process of doing this. So I'm just crossing that. So we can give multiple classes. It's all up to you how many classes you want to give and uh, how many examples you want to give, right, samples, right? So it's all up to you. So I would say today I will create two classes. You can extend this to any number of classes, okay? Don't worry. So, but yeah, I am saying that this is hand gesture recognition right so i want to say peace so with hands i mean we can do peace symbol right so peace or you can also say victory if, if you want to okay but um, yeah peace or victory and then the next one would be thumbs up right so thumbs up okay likewise you can do thumbs down you can do super right and um and there are many hand gestures right like uh, you have rocket kind of a symbol yo kind of a symbol right so all those things you can do <laughs> okay so and how many ever uh, hand gestures you can make so all those things you can train okay absolutely um, nothing wrong in doing those things right uh, any number of classes you can add by just clicking on add a class and just write the class name and start off right so first i'm gonna train for peace so basically peace means like a v kind of a symbol victory symbol with hands right so i mean to say that here and to start off creating the model it's it's pretty simple just align your camera properly okay so see that you're not showing yourself in the um, camera right in the picture and um, you have a very plain and clear background right so that is very much important and then you also have to start webcam and you have to keep clicking on the take picture thing right so i would just uh, check it and align the camera properly so let's quickly get started here it's all like uh, you just have to align your camera properly like this and then you shouldn't show yourself you should also allow your webcam if you're not allowing or if you're blocking your webcam then you will not be able to record pictures just place your mouse pointer over hold to record then get your hand so only show your hands Okay, I gave 300 samples. Oh my God. See, right? And then quickly you can just open thumbs up webcam. And then you just have to show thumbs up. In all possible angles.
cool that does it right so now it's all time for training your model so train model and while it is actually doing the training part you shouldn't uh, switch the tabs and you have to allow it to train itself uh, okay so it does that thing because um, it, it is having so much of load on it now so and that's the reason it does that So we just have to wait for it to train and uh, and then you're good to start off. Yes, so it is training the thing now, okay. It is actually doing 50 epochs for now, right? And you also can see it says don't switch tabs while it is uh, training your model okay so it will not take much of your time it is very quick it is super super fast right 50 epochs in less than two minutes it can complete right it's that fast okay so you needn't um, worry about anything it it will actually do the thing very quickly so we have uh, thumbs up and peace okay so while testing the model uh, we can actually show these two symbols to check if it is actually doing the thing correctly or uh, not okay so yeah let me also show you some advanced things here if you want to do any hyperparameter setting right so you can actually do it from here also okay so uh, here you can increase the epochs, you can increase the batch size, you can change the learning rate. This is all like uh, based on your settings, okay? So it's up to you, right? And uh, here we can test the model. For now, it, my camera is uh, black because I've just covered the camera. And uh, yeah, to test it again, I'll just uh, remove that thing and then I will uh, show you. It's a uh, piece. It still is at peace. It still is at peace. Cool. Okay, with this angle, it is a little confused. It says this as a uh, piece. So like you can see, whatever you've been training with only that, it is um, doing it well. If I just uh, show it like this, it is uh, doing it properly. But if I just change the angle like this, it is not able to do. If I change the angle like this, it's not able to do. Only with this thing, it is able to do. Okay. So you have to be careful while training. So you have to show all the angles so that... Uh, in whatever type you are giving it, it should be able to do it, okay? So that's pretty much important uh, for any model, right? So we can, um, now we know that there is some discrepancy in the model, right? So what you have to do, you just have to retrain your model, that's it, right? How would you do that? So you can just again uh, click on uh, webcam here and you can just keep these samples and you can record other samples now right that's pretty simple we have so many things here but it also needs other angles now right so let's do it okay let's just do that just give me a second
cool this is it right now let's quickly um, run it train it and check we have to do retraining again because uh, if not how would it know that you have added images right so if you are adding one single extra image in the data set then definitely you have to retrain your model and that's compulsory okay without the retraining it would never know that you have added some images or you have done some changes right so yes that um, that's quite possible and if it's just not responding also let it be you just click on wait and be on the tab never lose hope it starts training like this okay so yes uh, it started that means it would actually take less than two minutes to complete 50 epochs but if you want to experiment with any of these definitely you can do this is actually called as hyperparameter tuning and uh, yes it's um it's something which you can do based on your model and all so that depends on the need so yes it's it's almost um reaching half half of the training and then uh, cool it's doing the thing Yeah, it's around, um, it's, yes, that's it. Okay, now let's quickly check it. Yes, this is peace. Okay, with this, it has a dilemma now. This is okay. And let's say this, thumbs up. Even this works now, right? See, it doesn't have any confusion right now. A little bit of, but yeah, it's pretty much accurate, we can say, right? Cool. This is a very cool model and uh, it's absolutely working fine, right? This is about it. So it is, it is almost having around 98% accuracy uh in telling you the things right so this is it this is all about your uh, hand gesture recognition model so if you want to use it anywhere you can absolutely use it in your apps you can use it in your web pages you're creating uh yes someday some other day <laughs> i will also definitely create something uh, to and i will also show you how to use these kind of models in uh, in a real-time project okay but for today, it was just uh, to show you how to create hand gesture recognition model, a uh, machine learning model or a neural, neural network model using Teachable Machine, right? I hope you all enjoyed this session and you got to know how to create it and you have no questions related to this. It's all pretty much simple and clear as what I hope. But still, if you do have any questions, you can do let me know in the comment section below and um, you can also do let me know what all other classes you want to add and you have added in your model. You can do let me know, okay? So yes, this is all from my side today. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Uh, I hope you all like it and um, please do share, comment and subscribe to my channel and do like the video also. And yes, bye-bye and have a great day all. Thank you so much for watching this video.